Hello everyone, Fusion Designs here and sorry I haven't uploaded much recently. I still log on every day, read everyone's comments and interact with people I just haven't found the time to upload to this channel. Um, if you miss my sexy voice though you can head over to my Minecraft channel now, there will be a link in the description. And I upload um, a lot more consistently on that channel so you can uh, check it out now if interested. But today I'll be showing you how to change the colour of an object in Photoshop. And clearly as an example today I'll be using text from Cinema 4D. Um, clearly you can see it's blue text. But um, we've all come across that horrific ordeal as graphic designers where you've made Cinema 4D text, you've brought it into Photoshop, you've shut down Cinema 4D completely and then you decide you wanted a different colour text. So you'd have, you'd have to reopen Cinema 4D and completely remake the whole thing and change the colour of the text slightly. So for this example I'm going to show you how to do it with Cinema 4D 3D text. So in Photoshop just have the layer selected, go FX, colour overlay and have colour overlay ticked here then go um, to this little box here uh, you can decide whatever color you'd like pink, blue, bright blue, green, yellow, orange, red, whatever you'd like but I'm going to use red for this example um, go to blending mode then there's two options you can choose here hue or color I'd use hue for most things in uh, Photoshop if I wanted to change color but for 3D text I like to use color you can decide yourselves um, so as you can see it turned out really nice and now it's red you see I'm, I'm sure you've noticed uh, color overlay without color overlay color overlay without color overlay um, and I'll show you how it looks with hue as well just to show you as you can see the little shine effects here um, are white with hue on so it just changes the blue but with color it kind of changes the shine effect as well on the text um, but I think that looks really nice so this tutorial may have um, been useless to most people but um, just kind of a not really a beginner's tutorial because there are a few people who don't know this who are quite advanced on Photoshop but um, yeah guys I just kind of felt bad for not uploading much recently so I just wanted to get something out to you guys. If you found this helpful at all, a like and a comment would be highly appreciated. So uh, yeah guys, hopefully within 6 weeks I'll be able to go back to my own, uh, my, my old pattern of uploading 2-3 to three videos a week um, once summer starts for me. So uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching, goodbye.